Hi guys, welcome back. Today is a special day. Can you tell? I have some special ears on today. Can anybody tell me what today is? That's right, it's Valentine's Day. And Valentine's Day is a day that's all about love. So I thought today, let's learn about love. And if we want to learn about love, we have to go to the source of love. And who is the source of love? That's right, God is the source of love. In the Bible, it tells us God is love. And so if we want to learn about love, we're going to go right into the Bible to hear what God himself tells us about love. So let's open up the greatest love story ever written, which is the Word of God. This whole story, one big story in here, is a big love story about how God loves us so much and all the things he did and does to show us how much he loves us. So I want you guys to open up your Bibles to the green section. We're taking a little break out of the red section today and we're going to go to the green section which we call the Gospels. So flip in the green section and look for Mark. It's the second M. It goes Matthew, Mark. So look for the book, Mark. And then I want you guys to look for the big number 12 and the little number 30. And right in there, Jesus is talking about love. So let's listen in and see what he says. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this. Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than this. So did you hear Jesus talking about love in there? He said there is nothing more important than loving God and loving people. Let's think about love for a second. What is love? We use the word love all the time. I say, I love tacos. And I say, I love my kids. And I say, I love skiing. I love lots of things. But do you guys think I love tacos and I love skiing the same way that I love my kids? No way. I love my kids way more than I love tacos. So when we use the word love, we have to think about what kind of love are we talking about? What are some things that you guys love? Well, in the Bible, they wrote it in a different language. And the language they wrote it in, they had different words to describe different kinds of love. So they had a certain word for love like, I love tacos. And they had a different word for things like, I love Jesus, or I love my kids. And that's the kind of love we want to talk about today. And that love was used with a word called agape. Can everybody say agape? Wow, good job. You just spoke a different language. You just spoke Greek. Agape is a Greek word. That means a big love, like loving God or loving your parents or loving your children. That's the kind of love we're going to talk about today. So if we think about the scripture that we read today, Jesus was talking about what the most important commandment is or what is the most important thing we're supposed to do. So they asked for one thing, but Jesus gave them two. He said, love the Lord your God. And he said, love your neighbor as you love yourself. That's two things. They were looking for one thing. So why did Jesus tell them two things to do? Well, I'm going to tell you right now. Those two things are actually one thing. They're the same thing. And that's what Jesus was trying to describe to them. He was trying to say, when you love God, 
You love your neighbor. They're the same thing. And so God's love, when we love God and God loves us, he fills us up and it just oozes and spreads around to everybody that we meet. Or at least that's what real love looks like. And that's the kind of love that Jesus is encouraging us to have here. Love that oozes out and spreads around to the people we meet. True love is inseparable. Loving God means loving people. They go together. You can't love God and not love people. They have to go together. And that's what Jesus is trying to tell us in this scripture. So what does loving people look like? Do you guys remember our brown section, our general letters section in our Bibles when we learned the memory verse 1 John 3.16, it says, This is how we know what love is. Jesus Christ laid down his life for us. He did something. And we ought to lay down our lives for our brothers and sister, sisters. We do something. This is what love is. Jesus did something for us. And then it's our job to do stuff for other people. That's what true love is. And that's what that Bible verse tells us. Because Jesus first loved us, we choose, because it's a choice, to love other people by putting their well-being before our own. That means their comfort, their security, their safety, what they want to do before ourselves. And here's the big part. We don't expect them to do it back for us. We give away love and we don't expect it back from them. That's what true love is. That's what God does for us. He loves us no matter what. And we are called to love other people no matter what. And this is the cool part. God fills us up like a cup. Like imagine you're a cup. God fills his love into us and it's so much that it flows out over us and flows out to the people around us. That's how much love. There's, there's always enough love to give more away to other people. So that is what true love is. Our example is always God telling us this is what real love looks like. And that's what Valentine's Day is all about. Loving people even people that are hard to love, loving our enemies. So I want you guys to think about this today. Hmm. Who can you show love to? Who is someone that God is asking you to show love to? Now what you can do is you can close your eyes for a minute and you can say, Holy Spirit, Father, who do you want me to show love to today? And when you get a name or a picture or some, someone to show love to, that's who God is telling you to love today. So maybe you could think of something nice you could do for them to show them that you love them. Well, that's it today. That's the lesson on love. Have a great day. Bye.